a big story here with CNN Health. Oh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the World Health Organization declares a M declares M pox. M pox. They don't want to say monkeypox yes. outbreak. They specifically hey. said they're not going to call it that anymore because they don't want to encourage any kind of negative thinking about it. What? Yeah, it's yes. called monkeypox. This is like over a year ago. Yeah, so uh, yeah, racism. They said it's racism. They're saying that it's it's in Africa. A lot of people it's are sharing this. Story. In Africa. Yeah, there's a lot of people are acting like this may turn into another COVID pandemic. I really oh. doubt it. But I do appreciate that everyone's paying attention enough to be like, hey, wait a minute. Don't. Why is this happening? And uh, we got I, I got to remind, remind everyone. We'll keep it family friendly. Sir. So we'll use innuendo and um, analogy to describe the, the affliction and how it spreads. But you're familiar. Right. Terrence? But how but how did it spread? Like, how did it when it was in America? No, it was in no, Al in Africa. Well, probably so the same way they call it. Was, they call it the monkey pox. So how did some now? What, no, 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 no. That's just what it's called. The way it spreads is when uh, two individuals yeah. Yeah. who uh, same sex love each other very much, yeah, uh, like to push their body parts together. Ooh, so okay. humping. Now, <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, okay. But no, this is family friendly. But I heard though that this could be fake news. I heard that it started in Africa because somebody was. Humping a monkey. <laughs> Isn't that how AIDS is, started? I don't. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know, know how either. it spread I in heard Africa. They were... But the thing is, it went from it's endemic in parts of Africa, and then there was a big outbreak at a at a music festival in Spain. I think about two years ago, and then it started spreading through Europe and North America. And this is like there have been fatalities from it in North oh, America, and like in America and the news will not report on it. And then all of these cities had to set up like emergency funds because basically it's a form of smallpox. And so you can take a small smallpox vaccine and like mitigate yeah. the, the consequences. But like this has been going on for a while. Mm -hmm. But it's this weird combination of like, they don't want to talk about it because it's not the correct demographic. They don't want to be critical of anyone's lifestyle. Right, yeah. But also, it's rapidly spreading among the community. So if you don't talk about it, you're actually putting people at risk. Exactly. Talk about it. Tell people to wrap up and don't, you know. Who, and it can spread, I yeah. believe, on, like, bed sheets and stuff. You have to be really careful, but, like, if you live with someone who has it. But I need somebody to Google how it started, the origin of it. Okay. Did somebody, can you please Google did someone hump a monkey? Um, but also, <laughs> <laughs> the, point, the point of the story is there is concerns that there will be another outbreak that they will use to justify some kind of stay at home order yeah. or some light. What, what I've predicted is they're not going to do lockdowns or stay at home. They're going to say, in light of the recent health scare, we want to make sure universal mail in ballots are available to everyone. So we'll mm -hmm. be sending them out. Mm. That's what I see as being more like. I don't know if this is going to get that big because it's 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 towards a certain demographic of people um, that get it. I think part of it is they, they tried to have a couple other like I kept seeing these headlines like new variant of COVID emerges or whatever else like they couldn't get anything else started. So they're now bringing back. Yeah, the initials, they have mysteriously yeah. named like if you haven't been following the story and you don't know what the M in M pox is actually like you might you might not realize that it's like for a specific yeah. issue. Yeah. I mean, well. Well, I mean, I understand it's for a certain, like, demographic, but it can still spread easily, yeah. probably. Like AIDS. You know, yeah. yeah. It could. I mean, it's it's something to be concerned about. On the other hand, it's not new. It's not like breaking out the way that COVID spread across yeah. the U.S. Like, this has actually been around for a while. And the fact that it was, I mean, it was a big deal when it was detected in Europe and North America because it had never been registered there. Uh, but unfortunately, this is now just something that we have to combat. Or at least, but know, they do treating a community. You have to but see, forward. I like to know everything. Like, we know, we want to, like, just how, I know, just how we know how the other one started in that lab. They called this, they named this the monkey pox. I want to know. I'm pretty sure Damn. it was it was because they isolated it in monkeys. That's it. Okay. I think the original story was they had a bunch of lab monkeys, and then they were doing- Are there any monkey-like symptoms? No, it's gain-of-function research on monkeys, and then they were like, hey, look, this <laughs> this virus is, is, is in But I'm in asking, monkeys. is there any monkey-like symptoms? I, uh, what does that um, mean? Like, if I if you sure. catch it, will you have any monkey-like- No, you get sores all over the part no, of your body you where won't. it made oh, contact. Oh, don't start bananas. <laughs> uh, fact check, uh, uh, Brave Browser uh, AI says no, it's not a result from your suggestion. I think that's a legitimate question. 
Can, we, uh, this was the right year. We'll, 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 we'll move on. <laughs> okay, so BBC we'll, we'll, says. We'll, no, no, we're going to move on to talking about the purpose of this segment, which is what do you think the Democrats and the Uniparty, the intelligence agencies, are going to try to do to make sure they have the advantage, the October surprise or the shadow campaign? What's it going to be? Is it going to be locked down? Is it going to be some kind of weird medical thing? Or is it just going to be uh, trucks arriving at 4 a.m.? What is it? I think, in, I think it's going to be all of it. They need all of it to, for Kamala to win. They're going to have to pull out everything they have for her to win. So they're going to have to pull out. They're going to do like buy one, get one ballots. Like for every ballot you fill out, you get a second one free. Yep. They're going to take ballots to the border. Right, we're not, I don't think we're going to have COVID or anything <laughs> like that. Go pass. Yeah. You walk in. Here's your ballot. <laughs> yep. They're going to be passing ballots out at the border. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. No, uh, no, um, uh, nothing like COVID, but it's already, it's already the playbook's been set. But if they do push in the mail-in ballots, this go around, because the mistake we made last time is we told people that their vote would not count if they vote by mail. And that was the mistake that we made because there were some people, even even Trump supporters, conservatives, who did who who were not going to go out and vote in person because they were afraid of because they were afraid. Um, so telling them not to vote by mail was a mistake. Because there were totally. people, there were people on on the uh, you know who were voting uh, red who were not going out to vote in person. They wanted to vote by uh, by a uh, mail, but if you tell them that oh don't vote by mail, it won't count, then they're not going to vote at all. So what's the point of voting then? So this time, if listen, we got if if somebody's scared to if somebody is scared to leave the house and they're not going to go vote in person, then we have no choice but to tell them to vote by mail. Do you think so? Trump is supposed to be sentenced uh, in his New York case on September 18th. Do you think that there's any chance that they'll be like, OK, so you have to report to jail in on October 1st. And that's sort of the October issue that Trump is incarcerated in the month before the election. They probably won't do that because it will help him more than hurt him. That's true. He does get a huge boost every time. I remember they, yeah, after the mugshots got released. Yep. Yeah. I, I think it will help him more than it will hurt him. And, and you think they, they've adapted to this strategy? Yes. Because before I thought part of it was just the ego, right? Like there were progressives in, in America who wanted to see his mugshot. And so they couldn't factor in the fact that it could actually rally support behind him because people feel like he's beating, being treated so unfairly. Uh, they, they like needed that win. So, they needed that image so badly. They, they sacrificed it above all else. They put it above all, uh, all else. Yeah. And I think they're going to be people who are, you know, there were people like even even when Trump almost lost his life, there were people who were on the fence and and who jumped on it and who decided to uh, support Trump after his attempted assassination. And and then if they throw him in jail, like right like right after that I mean, is it, it's going to make them look bad. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just and you it, think it just it just it, it seems real shady to a lot of it people. Does. It seems super. Shady. Yeah. So that's what I believe. What do you think is going to happen in October? Kamala is going to be president. Is there anything I else? I think Kamala becomes president. I don't know. That's a that's a good October surprise, but it's really hard to predict. I mean, we could say a million things and then yeah. what, you, know, you know what we'll do is I'll just for the next 10 minutes make a series of random predictions and then come October, I'll just cut out whichever one it was and I was right <laughs> yeah. and be like, I predicted this. So, <laughs> I, yeah, predicted I, don't, I don't know, yeah. man. It, it, there's a lot of things. I mean, uh, yeah, Trump getting sentenced. Who knows what they're going to try and pull off? Someone nearly killed Donald Trump a month ago. We have no idea where this is going. Yep. And I'm like naively hoping that it just Donald Trump debates Kamala and then they go to the election. And then I, I'm, I'm hoping it is, to a certain degree, like whoever wins, things just keep trucking along. The worst case scenario is that someone loses their mind. But uh, look at what Joe Biden said. Joe Biden said there will not be a peaceful transfer of power. He did say that. He, and, he, and, and people were misconstruing it as if he was saying he will obstruct Trump if Trump wins. What he was saying is that he, said, he says Trump will do it. But Jamie Raskin said there won't be a peaceful transfer of power. He's sitting at a meeting saying outright that they are going to uh, do whatever they can. They're going to reject it. Yeah, they're, they're going, going to, to reject it. Absolutely. They're going to and reject Kamala, it. No and Kamala is counting the votes for her own election. Oh, yeah, that's right. She's she's the um, doing the electric. The, the electoral college. Electric she's, college, yeah. Yeah, she's the Certified, VP. Yeah. So she's going to be counting her own votes. This happened once in the past, I think I heard that. And he went with uh, the Hawaii and picked a Democrat. Yeah, it's the 1960 election. Hawaii, this is amazing because the Democrats have no arguments. 
the Hawaii certified, uh, I think they certified first the Republican electors, because what JFK was a Democrat. So they certified uh, the Republican electors, but then they wanted to recount because it was so close. But before they actually adjudicated it with the court or anything, alternate electors who were not supposed to be casting a vote cast their vote anyway, submitted it and said, we did not get the court's approval yet, but the recount has conf- the recount confirmed we won, but it's not yet been confirmed and stamped and certified. But we want this anyway. And Nixon was like, OK. And everyone agrees. OK, we're good then. It didn't matter. Even yeah. if Nixon got him, it wasn't going to change the, the, the results of the election. But that was the precedent, which means that for Donald Trump, when they were concerned about contesting the election, you have to have because of the safe harbor deadline, you have to have the slated electors for the Republican Party, even though they lost, fill out the paperwork submitted on time for the federal government. So that way at the state level, if the state does certify that it's already submitted to the federal government, if they didn't submit the electoral vote count and then the courts ruled actually, yeah, the Republicans did win. The federal government's going to be like, well, too late. You didn't send in your paperwork on time. You could have sent it in and then told us that the courts have determined this or it's been certified. The worst thing about it is then Georgia went and arrested these people and that they're trying to arrest the people who are literally supposed to do this. And that's that's the concern to me is, I mean, dude, I wouldn't be surprised if every swing state just sent in alternate electors like we get to we get to November you know, 7th or whatever. And it's like, OK, what are the results? I don't know. Pennsylvania's got Re- Republican and Democrats both certified. I got a question. Uh, you know how uh, uh, Biden didn't make it on the ballot in Ohio? How is Kamala going to be able to get on the ballot anyway? That's, that's why they did the phone the call. Rules. Uh, yeah. so they always change everything. Yep. Mm-hmm. Well, and t- Terrence was mentioning this before, but the DNC is going to be sort of this like celebrity pep rally yeah, everyone no- pats each other on the back kind of thing but technically i mean it's going to be like had, the MTV awards yeah if they if they had let it go <laughs> like you would actually see people nominating Kamal Harris and now you won't see this they have moved that uh that process behind closed doors which to me just screams installation of a candidate right like yeah wouldn't you as a democratic voter and i think not a lot but i do think there are some democrats especially democrats who feel like biden has handled certain things very badly like he isn't doing enough for workers you can see kamal harris really pushing i'm, I'm for the working class or you know the international conflicts people who feel like he is not uh doing enough to get a ceasefire and that she didn't do enough either uh who will say like you didn't give us a chance to push back and to ask for the things that we wanted. I think there will be people who are irritated, not enough to change anything, yeah, but just some discord there. Yeah, I do think I don't think she has as much support as as they're saying. I think a lot of people like we were talking about the recession. People are sick of struggling. People are sick of struggling. Some people literally are like, oh, I'm gonna have to just stomach this and vote and vote for Donald Trump. You know, like some people are not like a lot of people are sick of struggling. Not everybody cares about this whole abortion stuff. And like some people care about they care about feeding their children. If you want to be able to put food on the table for your child, vote for Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. If you want to be able to make your mortgage and rent on time again, vote for Donald Trump. It's just that simple. I want why would you why would you vote for the same like Kamala Harris is the problem? Yeah. She's talking about she's gonna fix it. I'm gonna fix the border. You you could have done that in the last three and a half years and you didn't. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, it's like I don't understand why people keep voting for these politicians who make all these promises and they never deliver and they always say, Well, this time I'm gonna do it. Well, this time I'm going to do it. Well, next time I'm going to do it. Well, and they're and it, making it about something greater, right? Yes. Like, it's a threat to our democracy. Exactly. Everything's at stake. So stop asking me about the issues. This is an accident. Of course, I'll make life better for you. But really, we have to defeat Donald yeah, Trump. They are literally gaslighting the American people. Yeah. It makes me want to go. Like, it, I, I want someone yeah. to do a man on the ground interview at like a pro-abortion rally because there's def- a bunch of states where, where yeah. abortion's on it. And just go to these people and instead of asking about abortion, be like, how much did your car insurance go up this year? How much has your rent gone up? Can you say that you have no debt? Like make them talk about yeah. where they stand economically because they're spending, they are so passionate about this, this one issue that they're willing to rally for it. Yeah. Actually say if you are better under the Biden Harris administration or not. And how could you not be offended by a politician lying to, lying to you every year after year after year and making all these promises and you believe them, they keep lying. Like it's like they're in a bad relationship with these Democrats. Mm-hmm. Like if 
if, if they get used to it, people in bad if your husband get used to it. exactly abusive boyfriend. But but then eventually, but there are some people. Listen, if if your husband or your girlfriend, your boyfriend, if they keep promising you, oh, I'm gonna do this for you, I'm gonna do this, and then they don't do it, and they keep promising, you're gonna get tired. Like you know what? You keep promising, making all these promises. You still haven't made time. You still haven't did this. You still haven't did that. I'm done. Tr- do okay. Be done with the, be done with with these politicians as well. The ones who keep making all these you know false promises like. I, I just don't. It doesn't make sense. Like, you know, Kamala Harris is going to fix the problem when she is the problem. And we need to remember Trump needs to tell everyone like I like positivity. Positivity is key. Trump needs to tell people to remember how it was in 2018, how it was in 2019, how everything was great. How, how You know, everyone was fantastic. I remember 2019. Y'all do. Tim talks about it all the time. Back in before COVID, everything was beautiful until the pandemic. Thanks for checking out this clip from TimCast IRL. Make sure to watch the show live Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. Subscribe to this channel and we will see you all there.